template names can be used to specify default values when creating new names. This training video will show you how to use a template client to set values for a new client. The tabs on the client list group clients by classification. The template page includes only template clients. You can create multiple template clients to establish different sets of default values. In this example, we will open template client 02 to review some client settings. The classification is set to template to indicate a client template. In this example, template client 02 establishes tax settings, roundup, markup settings, and interest settings. We'll review settings for new names in general settings. The new names page indicates how time slips will use defaults when creating new names. The client information fields determine which defaults to use when creating a new client name. In this example, if you do not specify a template client, TimeSlips will use template client 01 for the defaults. For different areas of client information, you can specify where TimeSlips draws default values. Notice, for example, that new clients will draw bill arrangement 2 information from the template client. We will add a new client to see how TimeSlips uses these default settings. After adding client nicknames, you can choose a template client to use for defaults. Remember in this example, the general settings indicate that if you do not select a template client to use, TimeSlips will automatically use template client 01. In this example, we will use template client 02 for default values. When you click Apply Defaults, TimeSlips applies default values from template client 02 to the new client. We will review the Arrangement 2 settings. Notice that TimeSlips applies values from template client 02 for tax settings, rounding, markup settings, and interest settings. So remember, a template name is a source of default settings for new clients and is a shortcut to creating new clients that have the same data profile.